Captain America! Oh, spoilers! The Winter Soldier. So first off, I have to address the crazy Easter egg. Well, first off, actually, if you didn't watch my review, go back and watch that and then come back. And if you didn't watch the movie at all, don't watch this video and just turn it off. So first off, the crazy Easter egg, if you missed out, is Stephen Strange. The fact that they announced Doctor Strange, the movie, existing, and now that they mentioned him in movie was just boom, wow, amazing stuff. That was awesome. Another Easter egg would probably be Agent 13's existence now. I mean, she does become a love interest with Cap on and off, so I do wonder if she's going to have a bigger role in Cap 3, because that's where his emotionals are going to be at play, because he's chasing down Bucky and all. And maybe she'll get a cameo in Avengers 2 or something, because she is a love interest, so she is important. And I would say, like, the fact that they used her so sparingly in this film was just sort of a tad bit disappointment, but... Ugh, I can live with it because there are a lot of things going on in this film. Also, another shout out to Bucky and S.H.I.E.L.D. again when they were fighting on the street. They, he had the S.H.I.E.L.D. in place and the fact that he is signed on for 9 movie deals with Marvel and this is his second one, it's going to be like, whoa. Rogers, no I mean, Evans said he's done with Cap by 2017. So that's probably Avengers 3. And then Avengers 4, or Cap 4, or even Cap 5, maybe Sebastian Stan will step in for Chris Evans as Captain America. Because if you read the comics, you know, Bucky Barnes become Cap for a while. And maybe in 2020-something, Chris Evans can come back and whatever. Though this really picks up the pace for really old actors. Because Nick Fury obviously has to be recast because he's in his 60s. Robert Downey Jr. is in his 50s. So, man... This is some crazy Kevin Feige, Feige planning has to be done. So obviously I missed e other Easter eggs because I'm not mentioning them here except obviously the mid credit scene and after credit scene. After credit scene I already talked about because Bucky Barnes becomes Cap. And I do wonder what they're going to do with Cap 3 because I mean with Bucky being at that memorial, him remembering everything now because that's just an awesome plot device for him to speed up his uh, memory. Uh, uh, re, re, uh, regaining thing. So, Cap 3, I wonder if they're gonna pair up and fight it out, because Winter Soldier is a good guy sooner or later, so maybe Cap and Winter Soldier can fight out Zola or something, but Zola appears to be in Avengers 2. Segway to the mid credit scene. That was some crazy action from Quicksilver, and he was so bulky, it was kind of interesting. I mean, I guess he kept out his bulk. I mean, Aaron Taylor Johnson, uh, his bulk from a uh, Kick-Ass 2, so that's some pretty big guy. But the post-production, not post-production, but production picked photos from Avengers 2 look like he is more in tune with his powers, especially also Scarlet Witch. She seems to be still messing with her powers, but it feels like by Avengers 2, they probably know how to handle everything, so there's a time gap in between the two movies, and yeah. Okay, so now the biggest plot spoiler in terms of not just Easter egg, but the actual spoiling point is that S.H.I.E.L.D. is gone. Hydra has been infiltrated, and I would say I love the fact that they went this route with S.H.I.E.L.D. Cause it, and with Nick Fury. Because now even the movie fans can know how crazy and how contingency planning Nick Fury is. And that's always been a given in the comic world. Nick Fury just has contingencies for contingencies. He's like Batman, but not really. But anyway, so what's going to happen to Agents of Marvel? Marvel, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I dropped that series after episode 3 because it was such a bore, but now hearing that this actually ties in with the movie, I think I'm going to check it out. Especially the fact that this Sitwell guy was actually in the TV series and now he's in the movie. That was an interesting fact. So I'm going to find last week's episode and watch that and maybe start continuing onwards because that's all your Marvel pills until holding you over until August for Guardians. So I do wonder what's gonna happen to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I do hope that Season 2 will be announced and we can actually have Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. taking place after Winter Soldier because I think there's an inkling that the last two episodes, I think the season's almost over, it's gonna take place during Winter Soldier and not after because Cause you know, there's tons of people that still haven't watched Winter Soldier, so it's gonna be a while. 
But yeah, so that's a pretty awesome thing that they're tying things in together. And also the last ending scene with where everyone's going, we have Mariah Hill being signing up on Stark's industry. So I, I do wonder what's going to happen to that because because that would be an interesting thing because if S.H.I.E.L.D. disappears, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. has to exist still because Coulson is a trusted confidant with Nick Fury so he's gonna have his team well from what I heard there's like a there's a traitor in the midst of the, but then there's still a lot of operations happening with that needs money so maybe Mariah Hill working at Starks will have money and filtering it with, the, with Coulson and there'll be some crazy stuff and then maybe Agent 13 will start showing up in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. because she's like a CIA member and maybe S.H.I.E.L.D. and CIA can uh, have toe-to-toe -to -toe sort of things but overall it, like I said in my review, this movie was amazing, and I loved all the stuff that happened. And I really love the nod towards comic fans, because it's just awesome. Like, this movie totally felt like a movie straight from, like, a comic book. I'm like Batman. Yeah. So then it makes me wonder... Sorry, I'm going on a tangent, but it makes me wonder in terms of Nick Fury. Is he going to be recast? Will they do a mini storyline with him to deal with his, like... Maybe he's not actually Nick Fury. Like, he's a he's a, he's a a double or something. Like, that would be pretty intense. Because they have to address it sooner or later. Because Nick, or Samuel Jackson, isn't going to... He isn't getting any younger. But he looks the part still. So, yeah. Also, I guess the I, I love the whole, whole connection of Hydra, really. With the previous film. Because, I mean, Captain America The First Avenger was about Hydra. And I, I was actually surprised... Like, sure, it wasn't that surprising in terms of that Robert Redford had a bigger role than it seemed to be, but the fact that they included Hydra was pretty crazy. And, yeah, so I totally look forward to, like, the other upcoming Marvel stuff. I do hope they'll bring in, like, Hammer Industries. Well, not Hammer Industries, Hammer and A-I-M. Like, sure, I'm a comic noob. Like I always say in my comic reviews, I haven't done that in a while. I miss reading real comics. But anyway, so this was an amazing movie, and uh, the storyline was amazing. Um, I do wonder what's going to happen in Cap 3, like I said. Because it'll be pretty awesome, like I said, in Cap 3, for Cap to be Winter Soldier pairing up and beating some butts. That's the sounds. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the spoiler talk. I mean... Anything else you want to spoil, write it down in the comments and we'll enjoy and just discuss about how awesome this movie was and that's pretty much it. I got my cap shield in the back. Actually, I'll, I'll let you see what it is. It's, it's actually a cushion. It's a cushion and you can stick your hand in it. I think I've shown this in one of my reviews, but but there. There it is. Like It goes all the way through, so... But bam That makes me wonder if they're going to have that holographic shield that, you know, Steve Rogers has because sometimes Steve Rogers the secret soldier shows up so maybe in the future maybe even in Cap 4 or maybe Winter Soldier will be already Captain America and then Steve Soldier Steve Rogers would be super soldier anyway that's pretty much it for the spoiler talk spoiler 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 I don't know how to do these videos so sorry I rambled but it's about amazing spoilers and that is all